everyone, welcome back. So now that we have our Hello World app running locally, it's time to deploy it to Azure App Service. So in this guide, we'll focus on deploying it to Azure App Service. There are two approaches that are outlined in the Microsoft Learn module to deploy. There is approach one, which uses the Maven plugin for Azure App Service. And then there's approach two, which uses the Azure CLI. In this video, we're going to be focusing on approach one as this is the simpler, more streamlined version, making it an excellent choice for getting started. In the previous video, we had stopped at this point where we had deployed locally to localhost and we had a hello world. However, this is deployed locally. It's not yet on app service and it's only accessible on my local machine. So let's go ahead and get started in deploying. So open up your terminal and we are going to be using this command to deploy to app service. Once again, these commands can also be found using the link in the description of the video, making it a lot easier. There's no need to type it out. You can just copy and paste them. So when we run this command, we will be prompted to configure our deployment. So we want to run a new configuration. Yes. We want to use Linux as our operating system. So that's already pre-selected. So just click enter defining the value for Java version, Java 17. Again, it's pre-selected. So we'll click enter. Now in terms of the pricing tier, I would suggest just using B1. That's more than sufficient. There's nothing else uh, needed. Uh, more than that, and then we will confirm, check everything, everything looks good. So we'll confirm the deployment with a quick yes. So after configuring, uh, we will see that there were updates made to our palm.xml. So I'll scroll down here and you can see right here, we this entire section was added to our palm.xml. And you can see here we have the resource group name, the app name, region, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So, the really nice part about using this plugin is that it'll auto configure based on the selections you made and update your palm file as needed. If you need to make updates later on, you can come in here and manually update anything you need, whether that's the region, pricing tier, whatever it is. It's all in your palm.xml. So now let's clean and package and deploy your application. So. Let's first compile. We will compile our application. Perfect. And now we will deploy using the Maven plugin. And I will fast forward now to the successful deployment that sometimes it takes a little bit of time. All right, and there we have it. It was successfully deployed. There was a error earlier on in between where it, the app name was over 40 characters, so I had to go in there and shorten that up. So sometimes the auto nem auto generated name by the Maven plugin uh, adds a series of characters afterwards since the app name does need to be unique uh, and if the series of characters generated afterward exceeds 40 characters, then you may run into an issue. So I went ahead and shortened the app name. Azure Java Web App Simple was not taken. So I went ahead and deployed on that app name. And it took a bit of time. It took about four minutes to deploy, um, which is a bit slower than normal, uh, but that's okay. So now we can see we get a message successfully deployed the artifact to this URL here. So we can directly click on it, or in this case, I'll copy and paste it. And we will navigate to a new web page. Ah, we can actually just overwrite this. So now it load and hopefully we will be greeted with a hello world once it loads. So we'll give it a moment. Boy, my internet's being quite slow today. Let's try.
Okay, so actually if we come down here we can see this warning. Resource deployed but the deployment is still in progress in Azure. So I'll go ahead and check on that. We'll give it a moment and we will come back and revisit. All right, we are back. So after deploying, we were able to navigate to our URL that was given to us in the successful deployment message and we can see our successful hello world message. And now your app is available for anybody in the world to access at this URL. So if you want, give it a try. Try to access it using your phone, your dad's computer, whatever it may be. But that is the beauty of app service. It just takes a couple of commands and your app is available for everybody in the world to see. Before we wrap up, I just wanted to show a little bit about the structure we had talked about earlier in terms of the resource group, the app service plan, and then the actual web app. So I'm going to open up the resource group that was created. So this is our Azure Java web app simple resource group. And inside that resource group, you can see that we have two app service plans, right? So the app service plans are what dictate the actual uh, CPU usage, the plan. So we can see that this is the pricing plan we had selected, the B1 pricing plan. And now if we go back again to our resource group, we can actually also see our specific web app. Right, and within the web app, you can see that this is the resource group that is part of. This is the app service plan right here. Oops. This is the app service plan with the B1 tier, and then finally the domain and other information as such that we had all configured earlier on. So hopefully this is a nice visual to understand everything we have just done. Again, it's very straightforward, really easy to use, and it just takes a couple of minutes to get up and running. That being said, I do want to make sure that we end uh, such that we don't face any unexpected costs. So in order to clean up our resources, because we put everything in a resource group, it's a lot easier. So we're going to run this command right here. So we need the name of our resource group. So I'm going to just go up back here and copy it. But again, uh, you can find that also in your palm.xml. Uh, and in several other places. So the name of your resource group, oops. And it should go ahead. It wants me to confirm. I say yes. And once it's done running, our resource group will have been deleted and we will face no more additional charges for this web app. That being said, thank you so much for following along with us in this module. You learned how to create a simple Java web app. You learned how to deploy it locally. And then finally, we configured and deployed using the Maven plugin for Azure web, uh, web apps, Azure app service, and deployed it to Azure app service. I hope you learned something new in this module and that it was of value. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it down below in the comments. And I hope to see you again soon.